So we're here at the Arm TechCon. So who are you? Uh, my name is Wolfgang Helfrecht and I'm working yeah. in the uh, physical IP division from Arm in San Jose. So what were you talking about here? Uh, we talked about the success uh, story from an, a Cortex A7 which was taped out uh, for this, with the Samsung 14 LPE process. Uh, and uh, what we learned with this, it was a project between Samsung, Cadence and uh, uh, Arm. So a lot of uh, learning on FinFET process and have a successful chip working on the FinFET process. So that's 14 nanometer? ARM Cortex A7? So it's 14 nanometer Samsung process with an ARM Cortex A7. As when? When did that happen? So we, uh, we taped this out uh, over 2012 uh, and uh, we have uh, results uh, since, uh, since this year and uh, we have uh, now shown this first time publicly at uh, ARM TechCon. Uh, it's a pretty big deal to get that small, right? It is a big deal and it's a lot of collaboration between different companies, in this case between Samsung, Cadence and ARM. How does that work? How do you it works with a lot of blood, sweat, uh, not so much tears because on the end it worked, so that's, uh, that's fine. Is there a chance that it wouldn't have worked? There's How always you know? risk if you have these complex new processes, uh, complex uh, uh, new uh, features in the process, so there's always technical risk, but uh, the collaboration overcame this and we have working silicon. So what's the next step? Where do you go from here? You have to like get it to mass production or...? The next step uh, is now that we have done this uh, example t uh, test chips, uh, is that our customers, uh, designers, which are here a lot, uh, can use this for their designs and build some nice uh, gadgets, phones, whatever, uh, using this technology. So that's coming up next, right? I mean, there's no way to say exactly how soon or...? Yeah, I think the, uh, the, uh, the roadmaps of the different customers are certainly different and uh, it's up to our partners to announce when they have new products. So which part do you work on? How do you...? Uh, we work on the, uh, on the physical IP side, which is the uh, let's say the enablement, we provide uh, standard cell libraries, uh, memory compilers, GPIO, which is used by our partners. And uh, that's designs, and then you get it in the fab, it's totally different, things change, or it just works as you planned? Uh, normally it works as planned. <laughs> really? All right, and the yield, how does it get you? Does that have anything to do with what you do, what they do? Yeah, the yield is certainly an aspect of the quality of the IP, quality of the design, and then certainly also quality of the process.